Chicago Robinson and his team are getting ready to kick off the second half of their season, and they're still sitting at a perfect 8-0 on the year. Despite the team's success, though, it has been Robinson's worst start of his career in three seasons. But hey, undefeated is undefeated regardless of personal stat lines. As we're getting into some Week 9 action here against the New York Giants, already down 7-0 here, as it's going to be a handoff to Winfield, and the second-year receiver is going to take this all the way to the house. That would tie this game up at seven apiece under a minute and a half to go here in the first half as that would be completed to Cooley Robinson empty backfield he's stepping up going right side that's going to be completed to Paul a receiver we haven't seen much of this year as down inside the 20 of New York just over a minute to go in counting that's going to be completed to Cooley again for a first down setting up first and goal from the six and Robinson's going to take it up and fight his way into the end zone himself as that would put Washington up 14 to 7 as we move to the second half once again connecting with Cooley for the first down and Robinson looking to move his team down here on first and 10 to take a two possession lead connecting with Paul for his second reception there is back to throw pressure coming he would get it off in time to Armstrong moving into New York territory play action to Ramon Mays across the middle is Armstrong and he has it into the end zone Washington would go up but New York would respond. It's 21 to 14. Ramon Mays now taking a handoff on second and three to the end zone for a touchdown. As all Washington would have to do is kneel out the clock and they would walk away with a victory here to start the second half of the season over the New York Giants. As Chicago Robinson would be named your player of the game. Despite his slow start through the air this season, Robinson is currently on pace for his best rushing season yet as him and his team look to continue this success so far this season against another division rival headed into week 10. Washington wouldn't get the ball until the second quarter as Robinson back to throw. He's going to escape some pressure. He's going to step up and pick up a first down on his feet. 14 yards total on that run. First and 10 back to throw. Hankerson with a one-handed catch. And that would bring Washington into Cowboys territories. That would be completed to Cooley. He would pick up the first down. Pressure coming. They would get to Robinson as he would take his first sack of the game, which he took actually no sacks last week, which is nice to see an improvement on the the offensive line after the rough start to the season they had as that would be completed to Hankerson and he would find his way into the end zone for a touchdown as Robinson and the offense would tie this game up at seven apiece that pass would fall incomplete now second and ten that would be knocked incomplete third and ten looking to keep this drive alive Robinson going deep that's going to be completed the Robinson Robinson connection for a touchdown and this game would be tied up at 14 apiece as Robinson Finds Robinson again to the left side as we move now to the fourth quarter. Chicago escaping out of the pocket, but he can't get out in time. Pressure would get to him. He would go down for a sack and make that two sacks in a row. Just over a minute to go now as he is trying to lead his team down for a game-tying drive. 48 seconds and counting. First and 10. Back to throw. Going across the middle. That's going to be completed to Paul for a touchdown. That would tie the game up, but Dallas would go down in overtime and score a field goal. So ultimately they are going to hand us our very first loss of the season here at home. Even though Washington lost, this is the type of performance we're used to seeing from Chicago Robinson. But that one loss wouldn't hurt the team as much as they still had a three game lead and Robinson would have a tough matchup the following week against Aaron Rodgers who has missed most of this year due to injury. We'll see if that plays a factor in this primetime game as it's a rematch of last year's NFC Championship. Washington would be getting the ball second here after forcing a stop on the Packers first possession. But it would be a little tougher for us on offense to Today as Jared Winfield is going to be out this week so no number one receiver for us he will be back next week though so we will have to make do without him as this is the last play of the first quarter Robinson is going to take it up to the 50 yard line bringing us to the second quarter now Robinson back to throw scanning he's going to step up pressure coming slips one tackle he's going to slip another he has the first down and more that would bring Washington down to the 31 yard line handoff Ramon Mays, he's taking it left side. He has some blocks, making some defenders miss. He's brought down inside the 10. First and goal to go from the 5. Robinson to the end zone. Hankerson has it. As Washington would strike first and go up 7-0 here. As less than 30 seconds to go in the first half. Robinson back to throw. 
He's scanning. He's looking across the middle. That's going to be completed to Hankerson. As we're looking to open up with a touchdown on this first drive here of the second half. Not going to happen if Robinson is taking sacks like that, though, as he completes that one to Cooley. Just a yard short of the first down play action to Mays. Robinson going deep to the left side. Armstrong has it. He would hold on to it for a first down. Now Cooley in motion along the right side play action again this time. Robinson rolling out to the right. He's going to get it off in time to Hankerson, who's down inside the five. Setting up first in goal to go from the three. Robinson back to throw. He's looking, and he has Armstrong in the end zone. That's another touchdown for Washington as they go up 14 to nothing here over the Packers. As we move to the fourth quarter, first and 10 from their own 36. Robinson back to throw. He's going to step up. He's going to take it himself, and he would have a few yards. Is now on second and four. A quick slant to Armstrong. They would have the first down, third and two. One last first down to convert. Mays would have it, and Morris, he's going to take this to the end zone. And that would seal this one for Washington as they're going to walk away with a huge victory in this NFC Championship rematch against Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. As Chicago Robinson played great and would take home player of the game. And with that win, Washington is back on top of the entire league. And it shouldn't be hard for them to stay there with a game coming up against the winless Broncos. Starting out in the second quarter, already down 7-0. Defense had a hard time of getting Denver off the field. And this is our first possession of the game. Game, as that would be completed for a first down under two minutes to go Robinson to the right side that's going to be intercepted by Champ Bailey something we haven't seen a lot of from Robinson in his career so far has been interceptions as he's almost going to throw one there three seconds left to go in the half Robinson launches up a prayer it's going to be tipped and it's going to be caught by Banks who takes it to the end zone I cannot believe it take a look at this a last second Hail Mary to try to tie up the game it's going to be tipped by the defense. Banks catches it and brings it into the end zone. What a way to end the first half. But the second half wouldn't start great as our defense would give up another touchdown to the Broncos and they have a real chance of beating us right now. Robinson is going to need to step up big and play a great second half as that would be completed to Winfield who's back from injury after a partially torn groin. Sounds like a painful injury. I don't know how he came back so fast, but he is here as he's making a big catch down the right sideline. Setting up first and 10. Robinson to the end zone and it's Winfield who has it. He ties this game up at 14. 14 apiece, second and five now, looking to go down and score a touchdown on this drive to give Washington the lead. Robinson looking right side, that's completed to Cooley. He drags his second foot and keeps it in bounds. First and 10 from the 20. Robinson checked down to Winfield. He breaks one tackle inside the five. First and goal to go from the two. Robinson back to throw. Pressure coming, it gets to him, but he would get that pass off just in time. Play action. This time he can't get a pass off in time. He would be sacked, bringing up third and goal. Robinson looking he's scanning to the end zone that's gonna be knocked incomplete so Washington would settle for a field goal and thankfully the defense would get a stop and they'll barely walk away with a victory over the winless Broncos who fall to 0 and 11 Robinson with his best game of the season yet and it came when his team needed it the most and in just the past four games he has already doubled his touchdown passing total this season and is closing in on setting a new single season best for rushing yards in his career with a team currently sitting at 11 and 1. It's looking like Robinson and his team will clinch the top seed in the NFC next episode to close out season number three.